Welcome back to some more of my Philadelphia Eagles rebuild in the CFM League with Headstrong. Of course, links to his channel will be down in the description below if you want to check him out. But if this is the first video you're seeing of mine, and if you enjoy Madden 20 franchise content, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoy this video in particular, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below. It'll help me out so much in the end. And while you're down there, if you'd like to join my Discord, check out my Twitter, check out my second channel, or my Twitch channel. Links to those are in the description. So last time we had the draft, if you missed the last episode in this series definitely go ahead and check it out if you want to see who we were able to select but i'll be going over the team here very shortly before simulation begins so also in the draft we were able to trade from marlon mack so he's going to be our starting running back here at least for this next season if he doesn't play well maybe i'll move on from him and try to get another running back again like i like miles sanders a lot i think miles sanders has a lot of potential in real life of course but he just doesn't play well in the game he didn't have a good first season for us and that's kind of all it takes for me to kind of realize that he's not going to play too well so marlon mack will be the running back of course, Carson Wentz will be the starting quarterback. Alshon Jeffrey is still going to be the number one receiver, but Jalen Rager is finally going to get a lot of playing time. He didn't play much his rookie season. I kind of messed up, but he's going to be the number two and the slot receiver here for us. And then our Thago Whiteside is just going to be the number three receiver. There was a lot of players on this team who I would like to get rid of relatively soon, but it just doesn't make sense to cut a lot of these players. Like I'd barely save any money cutting Marquise Goodwin there. If I'm able to cut Deshaun Jackson, maybe I go ahead and do that. No, I can't really cut him at the moment, but on the offensive line, it looks exactly the same i do want to upgrade at left tackle at some point maybe we can go ahead and snag one of those in this upcoming draft the tight ends are also the same zach Ertz and dallas goddard the defense looks a little bit different though our middle linebacker is now damon spikes he was our first selection in this most recent draft i think he was a good pick i think he's going to go off for us usually linebackers are pretty easy to develop so if this guy only has star then i feel like he could even go up to superstar at some point in the near future jatavis brown slowed out to right outside linebacker he's a little bit better in that role than he is at middle so i'm fine with that the safeties are kind of the same the cornerbacks are essentially the same we just don't have trevor williams on the team anymore i do want avante maddox playing a little bit more i don't really want nikel roby coleman starting I wouldn't mind getting rid of him in this offseason if we can, but I want Sidney Jones and Avante Maddox to definitely be starting on this team. We also went out and drafted, I forgot his first name, so it's Sal Parmer, a rookie at defensive end. He's not too bad. I think I actually have him edge rushing at the moment because I'm pretty certain we have Brandon Graham at the backup defensive tackle. We do. We have Parmer rushing off the left edge. Maybe he can do well there, but this is what the specialist is going to look like for this next season. We finally have Jalen Ranker starting, like I mentioned before. Avante Maddox will be the slot corner. Spikes, the number one sub linebacker. I have a lot of hope for this team. I definitely think this team is good enough to make it into the playoffs. And then here's a look at the playbooks and schemes and whatnot that I'm using. I didn't change the playbooks, but I think I changed the offensive scheme. But I think I'll be back then at the end of the season. So once again, at the end of the season, the team is not in the playoffs that does suck maybe one day we'll make it but we finished seven and nine nine and seven for the giants six nine and one for the cowboys six and ten for the redskins all very close and we just had to win a couple more games and we probably would have made the playoffs that's very unlucky carson wentz though 4148 yards 25 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, definitely not a bad season, really at all. I wish he had more touchdowns, but I like the yards, I like the interceptions, definitely not a bad year overall. Marlon Mack was, I think, a little bit better than Miles Sanders, but still wasn't that great. Almost 4 yards per carry, 8 rushing touchdowns, maybe he can develop and actually be better next season. But I don't know if he's going to be the long-term running back option. We didn't get rid of all that much to get him, to be honest. So if he doesn't pan out, it's really not that big of a risk. We actually had a good number of rushing touchdowns, though. Six for Carson Wentz, nine for Miles Sanders, definitely not bad. Receiving wise, Jalen Rager had a really good season. 87 catches, 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. He is by far the most productive receiver on this entire team. Zach Ertz was all right. I mean, Alshon Jeffrey was okay. Arthago Whiteside only got two touchdowns, 486 yards. Not too much production from the quarterbacks, but Jalen Rager did really well. Did I say quarterbacks? I meant to say wide receivers, whatever. But Andre Dillard led up 14 sacks. Not great, but everybody else is playing really well. I do want to replace Dillard at some point. Maybe we can go after a tackle in this draft or the offseason if we finally have money. And I'm looking to replace Sam Allo. Even though he played well, I wouldn't mind having Dillard slide to guard because I think his overall actually goes up if you do that damon spikes at 114 tackles five tackles for loss half a sack no picks but maybe he's up there for rookie of the year sydney jones might actually go up in development 100 tackles is a good number to have for a cornerback three tackles for loss four interceptions he actually had a really good season we have 16 tackles for loss for brandon graham 15 tackles for loss for the guy whose jersey i'm wearing right now i have two eagles jerseys i'm probably gonna fluctuate between the two whenever i make these videos seven and a half sacks for Derek barnett six and a half for brandon graham and fletcher cox not bad seasons by really any of those guys but i do expect a little bit more from these guys how did Parmer play? Only three sacks, nothing too crazy. 
Maybe we look to get a new edge rusher at some point soon as well. I already mentioned this, but Sidney Jones has four interceptions. That's good for, you know, the team best. Three for Darius Slay, two for Avante Maddox and Rodney McLeod. I definitely want to upgrade the secondary at some point soon too. Like the safeties, I kind of want to get better with. Cornerbacks, I'm actually okay with at the moment. So I don't know if I'm going to target a cornerback in uh, the draft or free agency. But we have one touchdown from Darius Slay, a couple safeties, Brandon Graham and Fletcher Cox. And we don't have any blocked kicks. We are 20th on offense this year. And then defensively, we were third. Okay, so the defense was actually really solid in terms of yards. Lamar Jackson is on the Broncos. So that happened, apparently. Jalen Hurts is on the Ravens. I didn't really mention this in the draft video, but I did trade Jalen Hurts to the Ravens during that draft. I think I traded him for uh, that late third rounder we had. He was never going to play, so I figured why not get some value for him. I was always going to start Carson Wentz anyway. And if we get to a point where Carson Wentz is regressing, like I don't know how long this is going to go for. But if we ever get to that point, I'd rather just draft a quarterback because Jalen Hurts will be on the cusp of regression at that point too. So I didn't really think it was worth it to keep him. Josh Allen at number three. Okay, anybody from the Eagles? Probably not. Yeah, I don't see anyone here from the Eagles. Eagles. I can't believe Lamar Jackson's on the Broncos. The guy from the Ravens tried to make him a running back, and I think he was going to roll with that, but I guess something changed. I don't know if he's a quarterback or a running back at this point. He's probably a quarterback if he's a 96 overall. But NFC Offensive Player of the Year goes to Daniel Jones. That's crazy to see. Jalen Johnson's at number three, and he's a 46 overall. What happened? Why did he play so well at a 46 overall? That's insane. Carson Wentz at number five, though. That's cool to see him there. Defensive player of the year goes to Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. He's up to an 86 overall, too. He's playing really well at the moment. Fred Warner is on the Panthers. Why did somebody trade Fred Warner? I don't know if the 49ers had a user at that point, but that's a crazy trade. Offensive rookie of the year is Michael Ratter, or Raider. I think this guy has normal development, though. Pretty certain he's a quarterback. Anybody from the Eagles? No, no one here from the Eagles. Defensive rookie of the year goes to Kadero Mentor. I'm pretty sure he's a cornerback. That guy looked really good. Damon Spikes, though, at number four. Sal Palmer at number seven. Might as well go through all of these. Jalen Johnson's the best quarterback. What? What happened? I need to see his stats. How did he play so well at a 46? Carson Wentz at number 10. Best running back is Alvin Kamara. Marlon Mack is not on this list, but I didn't really expect him to be. Jalen Rager should be on best wide receiver list, and he is at number 5. Nice to see him up there. Hopefully he goes up in development. That would be huge. David Bakhtiari, though, is the best offensive lineman. Brandon Brooks at number 3. Jason Kelsey at number 7. Lane Johnson at number 10. Best defensive lineman goes to Aaron Donald, because of course it does. Best linebacker goes to Khalil Mack. Nobody from the Eagles. Best defensive back goes to Chauncey Gardner-Johnson. Sidney Jones, though, at number two. He got very close to winning it. I really hope that's a development trade upgrade for him. Aldrich Rosas is the best kicker, but Jake Elliott at number nine. Definitely not bad. Let me check out what Jalen Johnson did. He's a cornerback, right? Like, I'm not misremembering, am I? Why did he play so well, dude? This playbook is broken. I need to copy the Bears playbook, I think. They are so good for some reason. I think I'm going to try them this next season. He's a 46, I think that's said. And he threw for 4,445 yards with 41 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. We're definitely going to go ahead and try out their playbook. Yeah, Jalen Johnson's a cornerback for the Bears. That's what I thought. Maybe he played quarterback at some point. That's why he's not horrible at it. Because, you know, a 46 overall quarterback isn't too bad for being like a regular position player. But uh, here's a look at the team and how they're progressing. Auto progression has been on this entire time. Jalen Rager is up to an 86. Carson Wentz is an 86. Look at Manning at a 67. I also did not go over development traits, of course, because we didn't stop at the midseason mark. Let's check out the development, though, of the linebacker. He only has star. That's kind of sad. I was really hoping he'd be better than that. But an 81 overall is certainly not bad. Do we have anybody else with hidden? I don't think we do. But we still, you know, have a good looking team. We have a good young core of players still. A couple old guys, of course, like Brandon Graham is probably going to be off the team shortly. I'm sure I'm going to move on from Rodney McLeod in the near future. Jalen Mills isn't super old, but I wouldn't mind moving on from him. Nate Gary, I would definitely like to move on from. Then on the offensive side, Alshon Jeffrey, Deshaun Jackson, Marquise Goodwin. Those guys like all have to go. I'm probably going to look to target receiver at some point in this offseason as well. But I should see you guys in the offseason. Hopefully I at least have some money at that point. All right, so here we are after the Super Bowl. The Panthers and up taking down the Bengals 35 to 17 the Panthers have a really good team in uh this franchise right now but let's see who we have to bring back to the team also check out potential development trade upgrades so Marlon Mack Sidney Jones Derek Barnett are all players I would really like to retain Jatavis Brown I don't mind letting him go I'll bring him back if I have enough money for it Davion Taylor is a player I wouldn't mind bringing back because he could actually replace Jatavis Brown pretty easily but let's see how much money we actually have to spend negative 30 million dollars Okay, hang on a second. I want Marlon Mack on the team. If we can't get any of those guys back, it's really not that big of a deal. 
but negative 30 million dollars all right let me just try to cut some players this might have to be the time where i just go through and cut a lot of people so let me think alshon jeffrey needs to go please tell me i can cut him now we can cut him okay alshon jeffrey is off the team i'm not gonna bother trying to trade these people i don't want to wait for trade partners right now brandon graham's a player i wouldn't mind cutting either if i can i can release him all right sweet we can actually clear a lot of cap now by releasing these players deshaun jackson's probably another one we can release Deshaun Jackson. Okay, yeah, we can clear up a ton of money. That's exactly what I wanted. Nikel Roby Coleman, honestly, I might just get rid of as well. I think I'm going to do that. I wouldn't mind trading him, but we have good cornerback depth. He doesn't, you know, free up all that much. Maybe I can just, like, package him off in some kind of trade at some point. Isaac Sayamalo, I wouldn't mind releasing. He doesn't really free up anything there. Marquise Goodwin's a player I would like to get rid of if I can. Frees up a little bit of money, but it's definitely worth it. Zach Ertz is a player I'm actually thinking about trading at some point, to be honest here. Anybody else we can get rid of, though? Roddy McLeod, I might be able to get rid of. He's a 73 overall. Frays up some money, we're going to get rid of him. The Eagles are so bad in this game for their cap situations. It's always so awful trying to rebuild this team. I don't know why I picked them. I figured I'd pick my favorite team, but it doesn't seem like the best idea, come to think of it. Um, but we actually have a decent amount of money freed up now. Maybe Duke Riley can get cut. It's about a million dollars. doesn't free up too much, but didn't really have any penalties, so I don't mind that. Okay, now let's see if we can bring back some players. I'm not sure if I released enough. We have eight million dollars. Okay, we can actually bring back some of these guys. Marlon Mack isn't a player I want long term. I might actually try to franchise tag him if I can. Let me see how much that is, because maybe we move on from him. I know I just traded for him, but again, I didn't really give up much. Let me make sure he declines this. What is the franchise tag looking like? $11.3 million. That's actually not too bad. Let me bring back everybody else first, though, and then I'll franchise tag him at the end. Sidney Jones I do want for a rather long time if I can. All right, he's coming back for a little while. Good to see Derek Barnett I would like to bring back to the team. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this, actually. I may have to try to go through and release some other people. That's the only issue here. Yeah, I don't think I can bring back Derek Barnett. I really want Derek Barnett, though. He's a good player. All right, let me see if I can make some more money elsewhere. I wouldn't mind trading Zach Ertz, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a trade partner right now. That's the only problem. We need another receiver. That's for sure. Also, let me check out development trade upgrades. Just as I'm here, Jalen Rager went up to superstar development, which is awesome to see. I love that. Manning only has star development. That's sad, but it's okay. Uh, but yeah, Jalen Rager being a superstar is huge. I can probably get a wide receiver in the draft or something um to play the number two i think i can be okay with that and then defensively our middle linebacker did not go up in development that's kind of sad but it happens that way we're no longer gonna have jalen mills which is fine that's actually not that big of a deal nickel roby coleman i should get rid of soon darius slay is still good at the number one corner Sidney jones and avante maddox those cornerbacks are fine for the time being i'm good with the defensive line i'll figure out who i want to start at left end nathan gary i don't really want on the team anymore can i release you that doesn't really free up too much. I don't really think it's all that worth it. Okay, so the team is not in the best position right now. It's mainly because, like, Carson Wentz and Fletcher Cox are so expensive. They're both worth it, I think, but they're just incredibly expensive. Let me bring back Davion Taylor before I do anything, because he's going to be cheap. I can probably at least get him back for a long while. Let's give him a four-year contract. He's coming back to the team. So we at least have a linebacker. I don't have to worry about Jatavis Brown. I don't have to worry about Nathan Gary right now. I can probably get another linebacker to replace some of these guys. Jalen Mills is not coming back to the team. We can have Will Parks there. Then I need another safety. We're just not going to have any money to spend in free agency. Oh, this is rough, dude. This is so rough. I'm going to do my best to make some kind of trade in the draft for sure to get rid of um, Zach Ertz, I think. It'll free up some money. Well, it should at least. I don't want to get rid of like Lane Johnson or Brandon Brooks. They're just so expensive, but they're so good. That's the only thing here. Zach Ertz, I would not mind getting rid of him. It would free up some money there, it seems like. Sidney Jones, I brought back to the team, so he's going to be making a lot of money for a little while. Javon Hargrave, I want to keep. Nikel Roby Coleman, I might have to cut. I think I'm going to release Nikel Roby Coleman at the moment. I want to try to bring back Derek Barnett really badly. So, Nikel Roby Coleman's off the team. Let me see if I can just find any other people who I really don't need. Like, Sharif Miller, I wouldn't mind getting rid of if that frees up anything. It frees up a little bit, but, you know, everything we can free up right now is worth it. To see if I can bring him back. I don't think I'm going to be able to bring back Marlon Mack. We're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with running back. I don't think this team is going to be that good for a little while, to be honest. Oh, here's that 40 overall. Josh Sweat frees up a little bit. This is so rough, dude. We have to, like, pinch everything. Every penny, we got to pinch. Let's get rid of you, Deshaun Hall. We're going to have, like, no depth, but that's fine. 
And that'll get, you know, filled in automatically. Let's see if we can bring him back Derek Barnett then. If anything, I hope I can at least tag him. But I'd like to bring him back to a longer term contract if I can. We at least have enough money to do this, I think. Okay, he's coming back to the team. I'm perfectly fine with that. And then I could franchise tag Marlon Mack. Or I could wait. Not much at all. I would love to be able to go after at least like one player in free agency if I'm able to. So I don't think I'm going to bring back Marlon Mack. I know we just traded for him. But like I said before, I really didn't give up all that much. I give up like a fourth round draft pick in this current draft. And then like our fifth cornerback. So it really was not much at all. So I don't mind not bringing back Marlon Mack. Maybe I can draft a running back if I can find one. I would love to go after one in free agency if that's possible. If anything... I could always try to rely on Miles Sanders again. He's just not that good. He's an 82. I have a different playbook now, though. I think this next season, I'm going to rock with the Bears playbook. I think David Montgomery normally plays pretty well for the Bears, so maybe Miles Sanders can do the same. I don't know. But this team is looking rough right now, but I'm definitely going to try to trade Zach Ertz and um, Jannard Avery in the draft, either for a player or for some draft picks. I'll figure out what I'm going to do, but I will see you guys in free agency. Okay, so we're back now in free agency, and I have like no money to go after anybody. So I agreed with Lane to get this trade to go through. We're going to give him Jason Kelsey, and we will be receiving a second round draft pick. And now I really like Jason Kelsey. He's a really good player, one of the best centers in football for sure, but I desperately need cap space. This team is very expensive. And I'm still even looking to trade some other pieces. I couldn't really find anybody for Zach Ertz at the moment, but I'm looking to trade him because I want Dallas Goddard to move up into a starting role. But the reason why it was okay to trade Jason Kelsey is that we have some decent backups who could play center. Like I could have Hodge slide over to center. He might go down a little bit in overall, but he should develop just fine. And I'm sure he'll be fine there. We also have Parks who isn't too bad. He's a 68 overall. We have some options. Obviously, they're nowhere near the talent of Jason Kelsey, but I think at this point it's worth it to get some more money back then we can target some free agents because this free agency period is stacked. I was trying my best in the Discord to try to find a running back to trade for. I got a couple people who were pretty close to giving me their running backs, but didn't really seem like anybody uh, wanted the pieces I was offering. I might be able to ship off Ertz. I know that the Falcons owner said that he was interested in him, so maybe we can get a trade to go through, but it's not going to be until after this week gets advanced, so it won't really even help out. Uh, free agency at the moment but i'll just show you really quickly there are a lot of really good free agents right now i went after a few players but patrick mahomes is here george kittle is here alan robinson jamal adams tyron smith chris godwin harrison smith adam thielen there are so many really really good players i would love a lot of these guys i went after two players as of now just with the very small amount of money that i had so cameron hayward and avery williamson nobody was going after avery williamson actually i think the chargers were giving him like 15 points so i gave him a really small offer and then cameron hayward it's not even a big offer, but it's more than what the Titans are offering. So I'm going to try to go that route. Looks like Patrick Mahomes is going to go to the Raiders. That's crazy. But I would love to have Jamal Adams on the team. There's just no way I'm going to outbid Lane. I really want Chris Godwin though, but I don't think it's possible for me to outbid the Browns. I would also really like, where is he? Juju Smith-Schuster is down here, but I don't think I'm going to outbid the Vikings. There are a couple other good receivers I could go after. Like T.Y. Hilton isn't getting many offers at all. I might try to give him a contract. Jarvis Landry isn't getting all that many points. I could go after him as well. Adam Thielen's getting a little bit more than T.Y. Hilton there. Willie Sneed wouldn't even be all that bad. Curtis Samuel would be pretty solid. I might try to give him a pretty serious offer once this gets accepted. So the trade was accepted. So we should have a bit more money to spend now in free agency. It says 140k. But let me actually target a safety first. Because I really badly need a safety. Malik Hooker would be really good. But the Lions are giving him a lot of points. I think I'm going to try to get Buda Baker if I can. We don't have like any money still, but maybe I can give a contract to somebody. I still can't give a contract there to Buda Baker. That's upsetting because I do really want a safety for this next season. Maybe we can go after like LaMarcus Joyner on a very, very small deal if I can. That's 45 points there to LaMarcus Joyner. Maybe I can still get T.Y. Hilton. I still have like no money. I need to trade somebody else, but I don't think it's going to be done in time. All right, so I think I'm just going to try to draft a receiver if possible. If anything, maybe I can get D.D. Westbrook on a very, very small deal. That's 33 total points. Okay, so we're going after a couple players, right? I used my money rather efficiently. The largest number of points right now is 45. So I'm still not really going after these players that much. It'd be really cool if I can get all of them after this uh, gets simulated, but I doubt that's going to happen. But I'll catch you guys up 
whenever I'm back next. All right, so we are one more week into the future here. And as you can see, we got Hayward on the team. I think Cameron Hayward is going to be playing defensive tackle for us probably for like at least two more years. I don't remember exactly the length of the contract, but he's getting up there in age, but he still should be a good defensive tackle for us for a little while. Avery Williamson rejected. That's fine though. We do have a trade pending with the Falcons. I don't think I'm going to accept this one though. I wanted a little bit more than a third round draft pick for Zach Ertz. Maybe I'll try to like counter offer and we can figure something out, but I will be accepting this one. So we're going to be getting Kareem Hunt here from the Ravens in exchange for Miles Sanders and a third round draft pick. I'm good with this trade because Kareem Hunt is very good in simulation. Miles Sanders is not good in simulation. And a third round draft pick isn't really all that valuable, to be honest, right now. Also, I need to make some changes. I need to move Hodge to center. I may end up drafting a center or another offensive lineman to play there. I don't know. But as for now, we're just going to move Hodge to center. That was why I traded Jason Kelsey, because I figured I had some sort of a replacement for him. I get he's a 69 overall, and Jason Kelsey was in the 90s. But still, I think it was worth it, because it allowed us to get, you know, Cameron Hayward. We also still have a bit more money, where we can even go after some more players. I'm looking to get a new safety, and maybe even another linebacker. But Cameron Hayward is going to be playing defensive tackle number two. And I think I may try to either cut or trade at Javon Hargrave. So I definitely would like to trade... Um, Zach Ertz if I can before we advance once more because I would like to go after some more free agents if possible I don't really want to accept this trade though I'll wait for him to get back to me and I'll let you guys know what he says I think the next time I'll be back will be the draft unless something else happens but I'll see you guys then okay so the last portion of this video is going to be the NFL draft and I have to say this draft class was terrible so <laughs> the first thing we're doing here in the draft isn't even drafting so I'm trading away Zach Ertz for a third round draft pick this year and a second round draft pick next year I'm trading him to the Falcons. Um, the Falcons were like the only team really interested in him. At least that was the interest I saw in the Discord. I'm not sure if anybody else was interested and just didn't say anything. But I think that's decent value for a player who is going to regress. Zach Ertz is still a really good tight end. But Dallas Goddard can now come in and start. I just didn't feel like wasting away Dallas Goddard on the bench. And trading away Zach Ertz frees up a lot of money. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Now, we had pick 15 in the first round, and with that pick, I just found the best player available at the time for me, and it was the 72 overall cornerback. Only normal development, but I think he is actually going to start. I'm thinking about moving Avante Maddox to safety. We'll see what happens with that. I don't think this was a terrible pick because, like I said earlier, the draft class really wasn't that strong. Now, in the second round, this is the pick we got from Lane because of the trade with Jason Kelsey. Here, I'm going to try to upgrade linebacker. We're going to go with Corey Burr, late first round talent. He should be a pretty decent player, and he is. He's a 70 overall, and he has hidden development trait. He's definitely going to start. Hopefully, he can win Defensive Rookie of the Year, and maybe his development can improve even more. It'd be really cool if he has, like, Superstar or something, but I'm sure it's just Star. Now, with our next pick in the second round, I'm going with this running back whose skills are all messed up. Usually, that's a sign of a hidden development trait player. That's exactly what we have here. 69 overall pretty nice and then hidden development trade 88 speed 89 acceleration 93 agility certainly not a bad player he's just going to be backing up kareem hunt for the time being after that pick we did agree to trade will parks to the ravens for a fifth round draft pick it's pretty much just a cap dump it was just better than cutting him and now in the third round we have this right guard who looked pretty decent at least in terms of combine he's a 66 overall ranked number 85 so he really wasn't all that bad he's just going to be a backup though and then the final pick I'm going to show, I found the best name in the entire draft, Dean Dean. He's a 56 overall, right? He's terrible, but I had to take him just because of the name. Now, I had like three more draft picks after that, three or four more, but they were all pretty awful. I don't think I drafted anyone above like a 65. I think there was one player who was a 65. The rest were in the 50s. I'm not even gonna bother showing those because most of those guys won't make the team anyway. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I think this is going to be the style of this series from now on. We're just gonna have an entire season per episode of this and it's going to comprise of the season, the off season, and the draft. But thank you guys so much for watching. One final time, I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.